Welcome to another edition of Myrtle's Rant. I'm not exactly sure what number it is now, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> wow, what a week, what a week it's been. Um, if anything, this cannabis activism business is uh, not for sissies. <laughs> and also never ever boring because we never know um, what's going to happen next. And most certainly what we didn't expect this week was that Parliament were were considering the Cannabis for Private Purposes Bill again. That is the, the Committee of the Department of Justice and Correctional Services. Um, I can confirm that nobody on what we call the big list uh, was notified of this. I don't know whether they've given up notifying us because we continue to reject the bill outright. So actually yesterday uh, we got the circulation of the amendments and the bill. We got them on our WhatsApp groups. So uh, not sure if it was emailed out to everybody, but I must just go and check in my spam folder. Maybe it's there because that's where it belongs. Really, Canvas for Private Purposes bill. So they put um, all of the amendments in purple this time. I suppose having some sort of royal decree that they are going to decide, that committee of people are going to decide our fate. And um, I must admit that I don't have the heart to read it because we've got a big weekend coming ahead of us with this Canvas Expo and I need to keep my spirits up. I need to keep some form of hope um, alive in this really, really trying time. Um, so I'm not going to read it until after the weekend. But our trusty crew, uh, Joe and Charles and Amy, they have all read bits or the whole of it. And it seems, just to summarize, that for the various things that were in abeyance, they had three different options and the committee had to vote on these three different options. And uh, the committee were given about a day and a half to vote on them. And a whole lot of the members of the committee came back and said, but we don't have enough insight or knowledge to actually even vote on these. Um, so without truthfully giving you any insight, because I haven't read it yet, Fields of Green for All, myself, myself personally, um, myself in the memory of Jules, we continue to reject the cannabis bill outright. So that really is my rant today. But here at Fields of Green for All, we always want to offer some sort of solutions. And it's amazing. I think it's a combination of Jules and the cannabis plant looking after us. But this morning in my inbox was this incredible article that was published in the Daily Maverick. And under a pseudonym of somebody called Nicole Bald. And, um, and here it is ladies and gentlemen, all laid bare. Well, not all, because this is part of a four-part series, and it seems to be a series that uh, is going to expose exactly what is happening in the cannabis industry, because, ladies and gentlemen, it is a mess. I still belong to the most amazing, amazing com uh, community in the whole world. I mean, the cannabis community is just awesome. I managed to send this article by WhatsApp to Ethan Nadelman, who's just had dinner with Donald Abrahams in America. So we are all connected by the blessing of this thing called the internet, and we're all connected by the blessing of this thing called the cannabis plant. And how fortuitous when we were just feeling rather down about the purple points in the pathetic bill. Um, this popped into my inbox this morning. And if you follow us on social media, you can go and find this article. Uh, you might need to, to sign in with your email to the Daily Maverick, please. They have always been staunch, staunch media supporters of the truth around cannabis in South Africa. So it really is a, a small price to ask for you to just pop onto their mailing list. So the article is called Cannabis Captured Part One. Exclusives, a tale of marijuana charlatans, corruption, collusion, and exploitation. And I'm going to read to you the first paragraph because this is really where, where, where the solution lies, is all of this needs to be exposed. And whoever you are, this journalist, Nicole Buds, uh, under a pseudonym, um, if anybody has any more information, I'm sure you can contact the Daily Maverick directly or you can contact us on any of our social media pages. We don't 
have any in information about the author yet, but uh, we might be able to point you in the right direction. Since talk started around the legalization and regulation of cannabis in South Africa, Parliament has been slow to act. Understatement. Four years. Okay. Instead of listening to the cannabis community, genuine experts and the activists who had long campaigned for decriminalization, Parliament continues to rely on dubious parties outside cannabis culture to make real decisions for our diverse populace with varied needs and disparate means to meet them. How is that for an awesome opening paragraph? Because that, ladies and gentlemen, is the truth. Now, we've seen these issues of activists not being heard, activists having to spend everything that they have fighting injustice in our courts. And, and look at Alta. Look at the amazing work that they've done. Look at Action SA, the amazing work that they are doing against that awful man in the black hat. You know, this is not always about the weed. It's actually not about the weed anymore. Leave the weed behind. It's about our cognitive liberty, isn't it? Our cognitive liberty to change our minds, make our own choices, look after our own bodies. Isn't that what it's about? And I think as South Africans, we are getting very, very tired of having our activists fought against from within when this is meant to be our government. I mean, any lawsuit that is brought against the government they immediately oppose and they immediately appeal look what happened look what happened in the in the um hayes club case the case was dismissed okay for many different reasons none of them um particularly valid in my opinion and then they put in leave to appeal and what did the government do oppose it instead of just letting it run its course to the supreme court of appeal appeal for you know same thing that happened in the labor court you know, Bernie, Bernie lost, um, also for very dubious reasons of certain evidence not being admitted. And then when she wanted to appeal, they oppose it. Again, why don't they just let it run its course? And I think what was very interesting um, this week as well was that um, a judgment from the Western Cape High Court, a judgment that was handed down by Judge Goliath, um, I think it was sometime earlier on in the year, was confirmed by the Constitutional Court. And that was um, judging on the validity of what is called a SLAP suit. So SLAP stands for Strategic Litigation Against Public Participation. So that is really what the government are doing to us in the trial of the plant. If they still continue to oppose us, that's what they're doing. They're trying to oppose public participation, aren't they? Just the way that they try to oppose our live streaming of the trial in 2017. They always oppose, oppose. It's like they have this knee jerk. And then go to Parliament and fill the committee with a whole lot of people who are either ignorant or lazy or a combination of them both. And I'll say that here on YouTube. Um, I think that's enough of Myrtle's rant for, for one time, but one must remember that we continue to um, oppose the Cannabis for per Private Purposes Bill, throw it in the bin, and we will c continue to support amazing journalists like the anonymous uh, Nicole Buds in the Daily Maverick, and certainly look out for parts two, three, and four that I'm sure will be coming out in the ensuing weeks. So thank you very much for listening. Thank you for your support and enjoy the rest of the show.